Hey everyone, it actually is the Angry Honey Badger here. If you don't know, or if you have never paid attention ever to anything that I've ever said, because I've apparently probably talked about this before, I work for Curse, so I'm actually at E3 this week, as you can tell by well, everything behind me, really. So, But I still want to come out with a Badger's Picks, because I still try to do those when I am on the road. So, it is now time for Badger's Picks. Let's see who I'm going to pick. But first, we have to see who's free this week, which it's actually going to be Ash, Corky, Evelyn, Jarvin the Fourth, Karma LeBlanc, Lysandra, Riven, Tark, and Warwick. And for my first recommendation actually for this week, I'm going to go with Corky. Now, Corky right now is actually pretty darn strong, mostly because if you have one of those team compositions that includes lots of AD heavy champions and you need more magic damage, Corky's a great source for magic damage, actually. So he's a great pick. The next champion that I'm actually going to go with, then for number two, is actually going to be Jarvan. Now, he just recently got a big buff, and he's become a lot stronger because of it. So, seeing him pop up a little bit more in top lane and in the jungle, too. So, if you want to try out either uh, new characters in those positions, try out J4. He's got a recent buff. It's made him a lot stronger than you think. The next champion I'm going to recommend is Karma. Karma is one of my new favorite supports that gets the poke job done early, which kind of gives you early lane dominance. she got pretty cheap mana costs and a quick uh, E, or... Uh, RQ um, in the enemy team's face kind of keeps them off you for a while. You can also early push the first wave with it, and you can hit level 2 faster, which gives you an advantage. So play Karma if you're looking for aggressive support. And for my final pick, mm, who we want to pick? It's a throw up, toss up, whatever kind of up. Let's go with Riven, actually. Now, she did receive some nerfs. Probably been about six months now since that happened, but she's still in a really strong place because of just her natural kit and the most over overpowered part of her kit. It's actually her passive in my opinion because as you use your Q at level 1 you get those standard attacks in between. You're dealing extra damage to the enemy that they don't know about. So try out Riven if you've never played her. She's still really really strong. But that is going to be Badger's Picks. Uh, look forward to more continuous normal content in the future when I get back which will be probably late 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 in the week. But until next time guys just good luck out there on the fields of justice.